The second C in the seven C's to sensational storytelling is circumstances. This is where you give the situation that your main character, your hero, is in, and maybe just a bit of backstory on how that person got in that position. One of the biggest mistakes I see speakers make is they give way too much irrelevant backstory in this part of the story. Circumstances are important not only to give you the situation that your character is in, but also to set up the conflict. That's the next C. You'll hear about that in a couple of videos. What you'll pick up today is the do nots, things not to do when describing your circumstances. What should you avoid when describing your circumstances? Those details that don't add to the story or the main point of the story or push it forward. For example, I hear a lot of times people will talk about the date or the weather outside or the way a room looked. Those details are not important unless they set up the conflict and the, the problem that the main character is facing. Before I learned these keys to effective storytelling, I used to tell a narrative of the night that I learned about the power of storytelling. I was a financial planner. I was giving a presentation to a room full of women. Well, I used to tell that story and, and mention the, the temperature outside, the fact that it was 7 o'clock at night, the, the sun was setting. And somebody pointed out that wasn't adding anything to the conflict that I was about to face. So I cut that out. Those details were irrelevant to the stress and the conflict that I was about to go through. What too many speakers fail to include in their circumstances is the emotions of the main character, the hero. Those emotions are what hook the audience and it helps if they're relatable. As you're crafting the circumstances of your story, it's important to get feedback. Ask people specifically, what details do you think were important about the setting of my story or the setup? What details are important and what was irrelevant? What could I leave out? A big challenge each of us has, even including me as a coach, is we're too close to our own stories. We think details are important. We've got to find out from the audience what's sticking and what's unnecessary that we can leave out. Now that you've heard what not to do, tomorrow you will hear what to do, how to create circumstances that are relevant and it will bring the audience in quicker and make them want to hear more.